Hey everybody, this is Jeff Klopmeyer here at the ESP Guitars booth at NAMM 2014. And while we have tons and tons of new stuff this year, there's some very special stuff we do want to focus on a little bit for you guys here at Harmony Central, okay? This bass series is called the RB1000 series from, our, from LTD. And this series was co-designed by perhaps one of the most legendary living bass players in the world, Rocco Prestia of Tower of Power. If you're not familiar with Rocco, A, you're probably not a bass player, but B, chances are you know that he's one of the fathers of fingerstyle funk bass. He is just a fantastic, amazing player. And he's the type of guy that feel and sound is so, so crucial to what he does. We are proud to be working with him on the RB1000 series. There are three different bases, each with two different finishes. Let's talk about those. There's an RB1004, four string, an RB1005, five string, and surprise, surprise, way up here, an RB1006, six string. One of the first things I want to point out about these bases is that each one is available in two different finishes, and they're both just equally gorgeous. A burled maple finish, and also a spalted maple finish. Very, very nice looking and very distinctive, if you'll note. Not necessarily the, the, the look that you necessarily associate with ESP, but it really goes to show that ESP is actually there for a huge variety of different musical styles, different genres. A lot of people peg us as a metal company, and we, we love our metal and our hard rock. But in the bass world, there are people playing our, our basses for reggae and for funk and for pop and country and all kinds of different stuff. And we're very, very happy about that. One thing about this bass, it's the first ESP bass that has Aguilar pickups. You'll notice that it has the combination P and J style pickups on each one of these basses. And one of the nice things about Aguilar, unlike a lot of other pickup companies, they actually will make, they do make, a six string PJ combination up there. Look at the size of that, uh, that J pickup on bottom, man. That is, uh, that is a long strand of pickup right there. These are beautiful bases. You can see that the, uh, the inlays themselves, the neck inlays, uh, this is part of the thing that Rocco helped, uh, helped us design. These beautiful oval inlays with uh, different varieties of, of, of abalone and mother of pearl. Um, the necks themselves, a very, very smooth, uh, multi-piece, uh, I think it's maple and paduke. What else do we have? See about right? Okay. And then, of course, uh, you know, the base itself, surprisingly lightweight for the different kinds of woods and tops that are involved in this. Um, and just a great base. And obviously the highest tier type of components uh, that, that you could want on a base like this. It was very interesting for most of our artists, you know, this would have come out and it would have said, the Rocco Prestia bass. But Rocco was very insistent with us that he wanted this to be a bass for everyone. He didn't just want it to be something for Tower of Power fans. You know, he wanted people who are going out for a disco gig to know that this is a great bass to be able to play. He wanted people who are going out for a hard rock gig to know that this gave them all of the tonal versatility, sonic variety that they'd want for any song, any gig, any time. So we're very, very proud of these. They're going to be available through ESP dealers.